I remember being in the backseat of my parents' car listening to Billy Joel. Uh, I remember when I started taking piano lessons and I figured out that rather than play all the notes that were printed on the page, I could look at the guitar chords and I could fake it from there. And I know it sounds silly, but actually that's a lot of what Billy Joel did around the same age. So I feel a sort of kindred spirit in that sense. When I got to college, I took a course on ethnomusicology, which would eventually be what my PhD is in. And I loved it because that was the first music class where I got to write a paper about whatever I wanted. And I wrote about a Billy Joel album. The book is called Billy Joel, America's Piano Man. I'm very excited about it. It's a book about the music of Billy Joel. Billy Joel is this American singer-songwriter, uh, born in 49. He's still making music. He plays monthly in New York City uh, and elsewhere around the country. And the book isn't really a biography. It doesn't tell the story of his life. It talks about the music and what made the music important and what made the music appealing. Well, I find with my students, one of the best ways to kind of connect Billy Joel with their musical life is to point out the way that Billy Joel fits into history in ways that are parallel to the history that they themselves are studying or the path that they see in front of themselves when they graduate. I love Allentown, that song about a generation growing up and realizing that their lives are, are not going to look like their parents' lives. I love Famous Last Words, the last track on his last album of popular music where he's essentially looking back and saying, this was fun, I had a great time, but I'm going out on top. Sitting here in Avalon, looking at the pouring rain, the summertime is coming.